How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I haven't filmed one of these videos in quite some time. I've been uploading, as you guys hopefully know, I've been uploading my uh, Supras in Vegas vlogs, so if you guys haven't seen those, go check them out. Lots of Supras, like maybe 30 million plus dollars in Supras, just so much cool shit going on. Go check those out, they're my last couple videos. I thought I'd take a break from uploading just vlogs and upload something that you guys really do enjoy, and that is a Craigslist rice or nice. We're going to be jumping on Craigslist, Facebook, Marketplace, and Offer Up and taking a look at some builds and seeing if they are rice or nice. They're not guaranteed rice, they're not guaranteed nice. Nice. There, there could be elements of all the cars that I like and don't like. We got to determine which ones are rice and which ones are nice. And if they're asking a fair penny for their car, are they asking too much or are they asking just, just the right amount? Anyways, my good buddy Esteban Caballero on TikTok has brought it to my attention that TikTok might not be a bad idea. I don't got to go on TikTok and post cringe content. I don't got to go on there and make some cringy, depressing skits. I might make some skits, some funny stuff, some original stuff. But besides that, I think it'd be really beneficial and you guys would really enjoy if I went on there and I posted more of like ricers in the wild type shit. The stuff that I would normally post if I had a vlog camera and I saw a ricer just like out in public at Walmart, record it, show it to you guys, laugh a little bit, have some fun, get some giggles out of it, all that stuff. So let me know if you guys think that'd be a good idea. Let's go ahead and dive right in with the first build. First build is a 1998 Ford Mustang GT for 10,000 smackaroonies. Now, that's a lot of smackaroonies, especially when this car has almost 200,000 miles on this bad boy. I mean, that's there you go. Ford reliability. It can happen. Anyways, he's got a lot going on. I mean, this first picture alone lets you know that this thing ain't bone stock, at least appearance-wise. Let's hope that it follows underneath the hood. But I think I see some LED grills in here. I think these are like daytime running lights LEDs. I think there's some down here as well. So he's got the light show going on. But this is during the day. He can't flex that. What can we see? Well, I see what looks like a Cobra R body kit, a gigantic like 5-inch cowl. Usually, that means he got a big supercharger underneath the hood usually now this guy took off his saline wheels or his cobra wheels and painted the insides of the barrel red i have never seen that before that is a new ricer custom mod right there also his wheel gap i mean jesus christ you could have got a fatter tire so you could show it off your custom racing tires a little bit more but what do they say j2 custom is that what it says or i i2 cut i have no fucking idea of custom i i have no idea and then underneath the hood, he's got every pool noodle you can ever imagine. All I see modified besides the blue is a, a fucking cheap, like, $100 intake. That's it. That's it. So that nitrous sticker, don't think it's going anywhere. I mean, unless there's some sort of fucking braided line hiding underneath these pool noodles, I ain't seeing jack shit done to this car. Dude, pool noodle stocks after this guy went to AutoZone, pff, skyrocketed supply and demand. I've never seen a radiator hose like this, blue. I don't know if he spray painted it. I don't know if he got one professionally made. Doubt it, but a uh, whole lot of blue going underneath the hood. Also, oh, it's J3 Customs. What's custom about this? Just the plastic looms you threw on everything? You even got overspray on your alternator, you fucking donkey. Oh, and by the way, that doesn't look safe at all. Leave it to this chump to put Lambo doors on a fucking Mustang. Oh my god, he has a fucking tachometer on his rear window. What is that even supposed to signify? All right, th th this guy's goofy. Like, goofy as hell. Like, ricing out a car this much, dude, this, if this dude invested in the stock market, now, I don't know why I'm bringing up a lot of stock market stuff, but if this guy invested all this money into the stock market, millionaire by now, like, dead-ass millionaire. What, wait, what did that sticker say? She thinks my Stang is sexy. Oh, my God. This guy guaranteed lives in his mom's basement right now. This is what allowance gets you, kids. Work hard, play hard, am I right? Oh my god, I hate this fucking car. This is a bad look on the Mustang community. Obviously, I think we are all unanimously assuming that, that this is rice, okay? I, I don't see anything that is telling me that this thing is actually a performance modified car. Like, besides the fucking cheap intake, there ain't shit going on. It's just blue plastic and LEDs and Lambo doors. Some garbage. Get out of here. Get out of my fucking face. All right, next car. A 1992 Honda Civic. $1,500. I mean, it looks way too clean to be $1,500, but all right, let, let's go ahead and take a look. I mean, you know, for all we know, it's just a cheap wrap over some cheap fucking rusted out panels. I mean, I see some sort of, you know, sticky tire up front, but a lot of ricers these days love sticky tires. They just throw them on everything. So the interior, okay, so he's got some, it looks like it's a blue car. It's originally blue. It's, it's wrapped in Nardo gray. The interior, whatever. I mean, I don't know what the fuck this is. It's like a table or something. Uh, I see some weird shifting linkage and stuff. Oh, you got some gauges and stuff. The blurry photo. You can't take a, a solid photo, you know. Then uh, I don't know if you should be racing. Um, looking good. I mean, it's looking like whatever. Okay, I'm gutted. Mmm, big boy gutted his car. He may maybe added what, like an extra, 
not even a point zero one to his eighth mile or something like that. He didn't, didn't do shit. These Hondas are already stupid light. You don't really got to do that. Crazy linkage here. Yeah, that's probably all he did. I mean, well, I mean, what is it? He's got some crazy like fuel line. Or at least, yeah, these are like fuel. It looks like two fuel filters. It looks like or maybe some external pumps and a giant tank. This is pretty peculiar. Oh. Well, you could have just opened with that. You didn't have to. You didn't have to say that. Now I knew it was K swaps from the get go because I have the same shifting linkage, I believe, for my Honda. It's not installed yet, but I do have it all. I just got to get the rest of the parts, then I can piece it back together like a goddamn Lego set. Anyways, now this guy <laughs> is a crazy K series single turbo hood dump uh, exhaust. I didn't see that in the first photo. It looks like a full fledged race car. He's got like his like kill switch back here. It looks like or a charging port. I can't see. Um, Gigantic intercooler, gigantic tires. Easily, I'd say 600 plus horsepower to the wheels, easily. I mean, that's pretty standard for like a boosted K-series, I feel like. I mean, I, my goal for it is like 500-ish, but this guy looks like he's got a hell of a lot more heavy-duty shit than what I was planning on doing, so. Super sick K-series EG. Now, is it actually for 1,500? No, 15,000. All right, there you go. That's what I was expecting. Yeah, definitely not Rice. Uh, Ramon's Garage, nice shit. Nice garage. Keep it up. It's built motor and sleeved. So 600, it's probably more than 600. All right, next car. After seeing that nice Honda, I've got hope for this episode. We got a 2004 Infiniti G35. My hope just went out the fucking window. $7,000. Oh, no. This for $7,000? That's not that bad. I mean, 140,000 miles. You get a custom-looking G35. Some goofball out there is going to love this thing. He's going to be swimming over this thing. Mommy, Daddy, Mommy, Daddy, can this be my first car? This guy's selling his G35 for like, or you sell, is it a G35? It is a G35. He's selling his G35 for like $7,000. Look at it, Mommy and Daddy. It's customized. It looks so cool. Mommy and Daddy, it's not faster than stock. It's just customized, Mommy. Mommy, it's just customized. You customize with that fake carbon lip. Look at that shit in the rear. I, that's like that easy lip from AutoZone. Get that shit out of here. Nismo? Nismo these nuts. It ain't Nismo. You ain't eating fruit snacks. You ain't eating you ain't bougie, okay? Get this oh, it looks fine here. It actually doesn't look half bad. It's just this ugly ass wrap. I see why you would want to like blend in with a camo wrap. Like nothing says I'm ashamed of my car like wrapping at camo. Like you're just trying to hide from everyone. I get it, you know. You're probably like some huge celebrity. You're trying to blend in with traffic. Camo wrapping a car definitely will make it blend in, especially red. Uh, red camel wrap, yep, that, I don't even see the car in this photo, don't even see it, I see the Mustang GT next to it, with what looked like a uh, FR500 wheels, but uh, I, I don't see, uh, I don't see an infinity here, uh, not at all, honestly, when it was just silver, I think it was better, I mean, let me uh, agree to disagree with some of you, but this, this camel wrap shit, it's, it's, it's a bit much, the wheels ain't even half bad, like, they're ugly, and I would never buy them, but if you're going for some, like, cool, expensive VIP look, whatever. Just do it like that. That's all you need right there. Good enough. He said $7,000 with wheels included. Good job. Thank you. Thank the Lord I get some fucking wheels for $7,000. Uh, Six-speed K&N filter. Okay, his first actual mod is K&N filter. Exhaust work. Doesn't say what he did. Tuned up. Doesn't say what he did. 20-inch rims, great condition. LED, I hope the car is in great condition. He didn't say anything about the car in great condition, anyways. Um, LED taillights, I don't give a fuck about the rest. He's got a backup cam. Cool. This car is well taken care of, no issues, and fast. It's on sale, boys. Spend your V-Bucks here. All right, next uh, car, I guess. I mean, it's a truck, but what the fuck is this thing? It's custom 67C10, $30,000 in Sacramento. What in the fuck am I looking at? You know what, though? Pulling up to a fucking car meet in this thing? Like, dude, the stance boys would jerk off on your hood. Like, dead ass. Just masturbate till the end of time. This thing, I mean, like, I'm not even bashing the car. I think it's cool. Like, it's all custom work. It's all shaved. It's all, like, super one of one. It's got this pearl white paint. Uh, underneath the hood that looks like a c4 corvette motor just by the intake manifold and the the fucking exhaust runners kind of looks like a c4 might not be let me know down in the comments down below i'm obviously not a huge chevy guy uh but dude this thing is fucking like as a one of one car this thing is pretty cool like like <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some people are like, oh, well, it's a 67. I want to just restore the 67 as is and, and just drove it around like that. It's plenty. But, dude, for like, I mean, look at this thing. No one is going to have a car that looks like this. There's not a soul on this earth that is going to have this 67. 
it's actually not bad. I mean, obviously, it's not rice. He's not trying to make it look, you know, race-inspired at all. It's just fully custom. Looks wide. Looks like a thick boy. Looks cool. I like it. It looks like an angel. Like an angel from heaven would drive this car. Just, I don't know, flows. Whoever did the work on this thing, congrats. That, that is nice. And whoever buys it for 30 grand, I feel like it's a fucking steal. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I ain't, I ain't buying it, though. I'm just saying I ain't got $30,000 to waste on a truck that I can't tow with. Uh, and that ain't happening. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, next car. It is a 2002 Ford Mustang GT Premium convertible two-door for $3,500. This one's sold. Some, some fucking moron is driving this freak of nature around. Now, obviously, we know. Us cultured youth know what this thing is trying to look like. And that is a fucking sin. Do not make your goddamn New Edge Mustang look like Paul Walker's GTR in Too Fast, Too Furious. You are going to be shot on sight. Hands are ready, cocked and loaded, okay? You're about to talk to Jesus Christ himself. This is a sin. This is illegal. Okay, it's not illegal. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously exaggerating, but come on, man like dude there's you could have made it look like the fucking mustang from too fast too furious isn't it the one that gets like ran over by the semi truck yeah it's not a good look but still you could have done it and you could have said oh i made it look like that this guy looks so happy i'm sorry tom i'm sorry just no it ain't the same eighty two thousand dollars ain't bad it's actually, actually not bad at all but no get out of here oh convertible automatic Blech. get out of here all right well clearly this dude's fucking ricing out his mustang i mean we knew from the first second we looked at it the double decker wing the gtr aesthetic get out of here he also has pool noodles him and his fucking brother from the first car matching didn't even buy a long enough pool noodle to like go all the way oh no it ripped off and he just didn't bother to put it back on cool Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments which car was your favorite. Go check out the Supers in Vegas vlogs. They are very cool. A lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, having some fun out there. Anyways, guys, subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.